So how I got into squash was um, my, I have an older brother. His name is Conrad. Um, he's eight years older than me. So this is quite a big age gap. And uh, he started playing because my dad started playing. And then he was like 13 at the time, which is pretty late for squash. Um, I, but I was six. So I would like watch all the, his trainings and then I would, and then my mom signed me up for mini squash. Um, we had moved to, from Poland to Bristol actually at that time. So that's kind of how I, started um um with with squash yeah um and obviously you know you've you've kept the polish flag uh with you and you've become the first uh pole to win a title on the psa tour how is that for you you know what sort of, what goes through your mind when you think of that um i mean it's it's definitely amazing like it's a great feeling i'm not gonna lie um and i think um my decision to go to Poland, because I did play for England for quite a while before I moved in as a junior. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just nice to have that kind of recognition, to kind of have that like stamp, um, but it's not kind of the thing that I'm focused on. <laughs> but it's, um, it's like, it's, it's great and I really appreciate it. And I think it's, um, it's great for like the sport in Poland and, um, and I'm, I'm happy, I'm really happy that like, me as a girl um i'm doing this rather than a guy um, <laughs> um so yeah and, and obviously you are you're also the only female polish player currently on, on the tour um do you feel a little bit more pressure because of that or because you grew up in england do you sort of not feel that pressure as much um i think when i go back i i think um, I don't when I talk to people and when they you know and I have interactions I don't realize how much like it means to them um, because to me I'm kind of you know I'm also like I don't go to Poland enough sometimes um, because I'm studying in the states so it's kind of like I don't realize like how much it actually means to people um, and but yeah when I when I do go back I can kind of feel the pressure more so because they really want me to succeed and it's a genuine um it's a genuine feeling and it's a genuine um like support uh, that they're giving me but yeah like I, I try not to think about it I think it's a lot it's, it's sometimes too much to handle so I try not to think about it um, and obviously you know you, you were able to play in the event because you now live in the states um so just talk through what you what you're doing at university over there um, well, so it's, it's interesting because, uh, so I came back in January kind of expecting our courts because our courts um, are like, it's a joint facility essentially with, with swimming, with um, basketball, but basically all these sports had a season with CSA or like college um, with the NCAA or whatever. Um, but squash was literally the only sport who didn't have a season. So for literally until two weeks ago we weren't able to use our courts um as as Drexel athletes which which was very hard to come to terms with but um within a month the racket club of philadelphia they extended its memberships to us essentially um to the Drexel squash team and like anybody else essentially for three months so we were lucky enough and i was lucky enough to have access to courts through that um so yeah, I mean, it was it was it was nice because we could just train together. Still, it was there was still a team atmosphere, but it it, it just it was un, it was unfortunate that it wasn't on our courts. Um, but now things are getting back to normal essentially, and we have access to gym to courts. Um, and yeah, and is there is there plans of a season uh, coming this year, even with the pandemic, or is that talk sort of not been held yet? so i don't really know <laughs> um i think so i think they are really trying to get it going again in november um because it's it's a small enough sport in my i mean in my opinion that's my opinion but um i think with so the national center um it's actually open uh now there's actually going to be a junior tournament uh there this weekend which i'm working so that's going to be really interesting just to see like the differences between like european junior squash and like the american squash, junior squash um so we'll see i mean I'm, I'm hoping that u.s squash and the csa they they do things to to have a season next season and and looking forward obviously to win in texas a couple of weeks ago you had to beat Haley mendez um, in the semi-finals who was the top seed for the tournament 
playing on home soil and, of course, inside the top 50 in the world. How much confidence did that give you that you can climb up from where you are at World and Break T8 right now to an up into the top 50 where you know you can now beat that level of player? I mean, it, it, it kind of... Um... I think it helped me to like realize that I can actually be there. And I, I, I mean, that's like been a goal. Top 50 has been a goal of mine for like maybe a, like a year now, I'd say. Um, but yeah, like that kind of like gave me like the, like you can actually do this. And I think after such a year that everybody's had and that I've had, like I haven't really played a competitive match like that since March last year. So um so I think it just gave me like, it gave me a lot of confidence and it was kind of like, yeah, you can actually do this. Like if you put your, you know, if you work hard and you trust yourself, trust the work that I've put in over the like the last eight months, then uh, then things like that will happen. And finally, obviously, like I said, you're, you're World and Break TA and you've been inside the top 100 for around about 18 months now. Um, what's next for you? Obviously, I know you're entered into the Odense Open, which is a World Championships qualifier. Um, how much are you looking forward to that and then possibly, you know, playing in Chicago in July? Um, yeah, no, it's super exciting. Um, it's, it's, it's a weird patch for me now because I'm like, okay, I need to, it's, it's like two months, around two months until uh, that tournament. So it's just, it's just preparing for it. And also I'll be going home because we should have nationals. It's not confirmed, but I'll, I'll be playing in Poland and then I'll be going there. So, no, I think it's it's um, it's exciting. And I haven't played, like, a tournament back in Europe in a while. So I think it's going to be I'm, – I'm just super excited to play, honestly. I just want to play more. 